The libertarians often say that taxation is theft. And in South Africa, that is completely true. But you know what? Ladies and gentlemen, the ANC wants to steal even more. So this is the news that the NHI hasn't really been costed in terms of its funding. And independent research shows that in order to fund it, we're going to need a 20% tax increase on an already stretched tax base. So think about it this way, Byron. If you pay 35% income tax in South Africa, you're going to start paying 55% income tax just to fund the NHI. So you're going to be paying more money to the state every year due to your hard work and salary rather than keeping it for yourself to pay for your children's education, overseas trips, and food and groceries. Sounds like a socialist utopia to me. Absolutely. And obviously, that's not where the government stops. They say, well, you know, there are other ways we can also uh, get money, also known as steal money. And that is a good example would be to tax the poor. What they actually want to do is increase VAT to 20%, which means that the poor would actually be funding the NHR through basic goods. Every time they buy a Kit Kat, Paying for the NHR, right? So you may say, well, surely big business should pay. Well, ANC has got you covered too. They want to increase company tax from 27% to 42%. And what the ANC wants to do is do what it does best. It wants to excel. It wants to excel at theft. Well, I mean, I'm actually with the ANC in terms of increasing VAT to 20%. Because you know what, Byron? The poor needs to pay their fair share of taxes. In South Africa, you've got a very small tax base. The poor need to pay their fair share, so therefore increase that to 30%. I don't actually care. I think it's actually rather better. Increasing company tax to 42%, though, I mean, that's assuming companies actually make profits, which very few actually do. So that's already a non-starter in my mind. Let us not forget that it is less than 20% of this country that actually pays taxes, which means that an existing stretched tax base, which has already seen their own personal fortunes diminished because of ANC policy, will find their own personal fortunes diminished even further. So what happens when you have a, an already diminishing tax base diminish even more? Well, I mean, we, unfortunately, we still don't have the money bill. We still have no idea how the hell they're going to fund it. But Solidarity is to thank for this particular research into how the possibilities of funding it could arise. And you're going to make basically South Africa the most heavily taxed country based on a base of taxpayers that are immigrating at record rates in order to have equity in terms of medical care. Completely unworkable, completely unaffordable, completely stupid, which is precisely why the ANC will pursue it at all costs. And I think we need to understand this, Byron. The ANC is pursuing the NHI because it is part of the National Democratic Revolution. National Democratic Re Revolution, for those of you who don't know, is an ANC 1950s goal to first implement socialism in the country, have a degree of central command, centralizing all of the main levers of the economy in the ANC's hands, and then ultimately ushering in a one-party state and a communist utopia. That's the idea behind the National Democratic Revolution. Problem is, hasn't really worked anywhere it has been implemented, and all communist utopias are, well, so great that you actually have to build walls keeping people in them. The only way to apply a national democratic revolution is to impoverish and enslave your population. Yeah, very much so. And the NHI is nothing more than the nationalization of the medical services and medical industry of South Africa. I mean, the Minister of Health himself said the NHI was the most revolutionary legislation passed in Parliament since 1994. And he is absolutely, completely correct in terms of revolution equals shitting on the social order of South Africa. The NHI is the bullet in the brain of the South African middle class, of the South African future, of your children's future, and most importantly, it is the bullet in the brain of democracy as we know it in South Africa, because no one is going to stay behind to be part of this. They're not going to leave their money here. They're not going to pay taxes towards it. They are just going to go. But... We know what South Africa is like, Byron. What are the odds of the NHI actually being implemented between zero and four call? Where do you rate it? Probably four call. And I think you're completely, absolutely correct. We can't keep the lights on. How the hell are we going to administer 60 million people on one single pool of resources for medical care? It is beyond the realm of possibilities. We believe in miracles on this particular show because we're Christians. But I mean, even God's looking at this and saying, not a chance. I am reminded that God's ultimate order is that he who helps himself will be blessed. And in this instance, 
he wants us to help ourselves before he helps us on this. But there are ways to fight the NHR, and that usually comes in the order of companies like Solidaritat, who are fighting the good fight and taking the fight to the government. Because ultimately, ladies and gentlemen, here is the problem. The government is adopting stupid, dumbass strategy, left, right and center, in order to usher in the communist ideas. The government is running out of ideas. It's putting in BE rules, water quotas, NHR. The bills that are being passed are unworkable. This is the dying grasp of a dead party. They have run out of ideas. They have nothing left to offer the country. The only thing that they can think of doing is becoming more radical. They think that they are getting more radical. Unfortunately, what they're actually getting is more stupid. And we are at the point as a population that we can tell that the ANC are a dying party with dumbass ideas. And all that's left for them to do is to try to steal as much money as possible before they are booted out of this country permanently. And that is exactly what they're trying to do through the NHI. It's not going to work. Remain vigilant. And as always, the morning job recommendation is get a gun. And for more on the NHI, why not check out this video right here?